Here's a list of eight things to do after installing Ubuntu 16.04. So, number one, install a different distro. Uh, just messing, but someone was going to say it though, weren't they? Okay, number one, get the updates out of the way. Hey, updates are really annoying and boring, but it's worth getting them out of the way as soon as possible, because on the remote off chance that they may break your system, it's worth breaking a fresh install rather than a fully customized install. Let's go across to the Unity launcher, click the search button, and I want to find the software updater. Now I know it's there on the screen, but you can use the search facility as well. So up, picks up the updater. Let's have to wait a moment for it to check for the updates for your system. Now in this instance, it says the computer is up to date, but otherwise it would list out the programs that require updates. Number two, install the patent encumbered audio and video codecs like MP3 and MP4 without installing Flash Player. Now the easiest way of installing the patent encumbered codecs is apt-get install Ubuntu restricted extras, but that installs the Flash Player. And unfortunately, Flash has more security holes than a colander. And it's even worse on Linux because Adobe have pretty much washed their hands of it and they're hardly putting out any updates. It's enough of a security risk on Windows. On Linux, I would say it's a devastating security risk to have it on your system. So let's mitigate it in the first place and not install it at all. Now, if you have got it on there, then just uh, look in the software center and remove Flash. So I've uploaded my script onto GitHub and I've got the usage instructions here. So it's two commands and I'm sorry we do have to do this in the terminal. There is no other way. Control Alt and T is the shortcut. To paste the command, you can use either Control Shift and V or the middle mouse button. Then bash flashlist.sh. So installing the restricted X. If you're using a KDE based desktop, you will see a slightly different message here. So pop in your sudo or root password that you set earlier in the installer. So I've already run the command. So it would install all these applications. Now the final message here, in order to install the DVD CSS decoder, run sudo apt get install libdvd hyphen package. Control shift and C, middle click mouse button. That's if you want to play DVDs on your system. If you don't, then ignore the command. Number three, install the Ubuntu Mate welcome screen. Now Ubuntu Mate has one of the finest welcome screens and help features that I've seen in any Linux distro. There's no reason why you can't have that feature as well in Ubuntu. So open the software center. And I'm searching for Ubuntu-Mate-Welcome. A welcome screen for Ubuntu Mate that provides links to helpful resources and utilities. Yes, I would like to install that. Once again, you need your sudo password. Welcome is now installed. Okay, open it. And here we go. Welcome, Ubuntu Mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different distro. You can take a look at the getting started. You've got some pointers here, like the software updaters, the drivers, some customizations. But the most important one here at the bottom, Software Boutique, it's a useful tool if you're not really sure exactly what you're after for your system. So just clicking it here into graphics, so I can scroll down some of the graphics programs, and you can get more of an idea about each application. Links to the other software centers, AppGrid, the old Ubuntu software center, Synaptic Package Manager. Number four, install an antivirus checker. Wait a minute, what's that? We don't really need antivirus checkers in Linux. Now, the reason why you might want to have an antivirus checker is if you're running a mail server or another server that is connected to a Windows machine or a Windows network, because you want to minimize the infection going around the network but for the home user on Linux, not really worth it. Yes, there are Linux viruses around, but if you mitigate the risks, like not having Flash Player on your system, it's pretty much a waste of time to have an antivirus running on your system. Number five, tweak some of the desktop settings with the Unity Tweak Tool. 
While we still have the Software Center open, I'm going to do a search for the Unity Tweak tool. Now I've already installed that, so go ahead and open it by doing a search for, well, Tweak or Unity. Now this provides quite a few easy tweaks you can do on the system. For instance, changing the behavior of the launcher, the searcher, whether you want uh, blurring on it. Turning off the background blur can make the dash slightly faster to render. And various other changes we can do here. Some of the keyboard shortcuts. You can change the themes. So you can install more themes on your system. Change mouse cursors. Oh yeah, I install the oxygen mouse cursors on here. These settings are safe to change and you can easily restore them to default. Number six, we have the ability to move the Unity launcher now in Ubuntu 1604. So you have the option of moving it to the bottom of the screen. There are two methods of moving the launcher. The first one through the terminal is with the command here, g setting set com.canonical.unity.launcher launcher hyphen position bottom. And to revert back, launcher position left. An alternative tool is the deconf editor, which you'll need to install. We can follow the same path, so com canonical unity launcher launch position, select it here, and you can change it to bottom. I know it's not quite as convenient as any other desktop, but we have only just gained this feature. Number seven, install an alternate browser. Not everyone likes Firefox. You might want to use Chrome or Chromium or Opera. Let's take a look through the Ubuntu Mate welcome screen to find what would be a good one. A software boutique under the Mate welcome screen has a feature here under internet so you can search for web browsers. Well, that makes it quite nice and easy. Your alternative is to use the software center you can search in here for the same sort of browsers, Chromium. Now, not quite as convenient because we require additional repositories to install browsers like Chrome, Opera and Vivaldi. And lastly, number eight, we can restore the web searching features on the Unity Dash. Although not everyone likes that because there are the privacy issues, possible privacy issues, I'm still not entirely convinced of it, but you do get some useful features. So if we click the searcher, the Unity Launcher, and type in privacy, the tab here called search, when searching in the dash include online search results, change it to on. This used to be on by default in earlier versions of Ubuntu. Now when you start typing things in Unity Dash, it brings up online results. The weather in Cardiff, what is it? Tomorrow. So I'm right clicking and we find out it's not particularly warm. So that was a look at eight things to do after installing Ubuntu. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.